For more on this debate over drilling and the politics of it all, we turn to Laura Henderson with the Institute for Energy Research. Uh, Laura, politicians and environmentalists are using this disaster to push for drilling bans. Your group says that's a ba bad idea, though. Why? That's right. Well, just like the strong majority of American people your reporter mentioned, we still believe that offshore drilling is critical to this country. Um, obviously, this was a tragic accident, but there's no denying the fact that oil powers, this co powers our economy. Uh, access to affordable and reliable energy is absolutely what makes it possible for us to live the lifestyle we live and to have the economy that we have. The energy bill released yesterday by Senators Kerry and Lieberman has a lot of restrictions on offshore drilling. If it passes, what would it mean for consumers? Well, basically, um, as far as offshore drilling goes, this bill has a moratorium on all, all new offshore drilling. So that means the projects that are going on right now can continue, but there will be nothing new, which obviously means that we'll, spend more, we'll receive more of our oil from foreign sources. The bill also has a gas tax and a cap-and-trade policy. So all this combined just absolutely ensures that we're going to see higher prices at the pump, that our electricity rates are going to go through the roof, and that we're going to be paying more for everything in our economy. A, a lot of people, though, are frustrated that it's taken so long to stop this leak. In your opinion, Laura, should oil companies hold off on any new drilling until they figure out how to fix this one? Well, I think that just like the strong majority of American people who still believe that we need access to offshore oil, the, the way to think about this is that you know, sometimes even when you have the very best technology and the very most stringent regulations, accidents do happen. And the, the, you don't turn your back on what your, what your goal is. What you do is you try and contain it, try and learn from it, and then you move on. And that's what we need to do here. In, in your opinion, was BP prepared for this? That's not something that I could speak to. I, I don't represent BP, and I don't know anything about their policies. Okay. Republicans like Sarah Palin, though, used, used to say, drill, baby, drill. Do you think that that will still be a slogan in future political races? Well, I don't know about a slogan, but I think that we're absolutely going to continue to continue to need to drill for oil. There's no way that we'll um, get away from it. There's no substitute. And what we're going to have to do is learn from this and do our very best to move on and make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Laura Henderson from the Institute for Energy Research. Laura, thank, thank you, you for being with us. Thank you for having me.